So reflective practice, technology, autonomy, student autonomy. That seemed to be what made sense. So if we want somebody to be a note taker, you can use whatever tool of your choice to do note taking. Does anybody want to do that? Uh, you have a laptop here. Do you guys have like a, a you you just want, open up a... Do you want me to just open up a Google Doc here? Yeah, it'll be a little bit easier. Okay. Um, the, the, the first... What, is, uh, what table is this? The, I came because I... Yeah, I came Tony, because okay. I wanted to promote okay. autonomy. Okay, okay, me too. Okay. <laughs> You're talking about tech. I was like, okay, I'm on the wrong table. But the, but the thing is, is like you can... The technology is that underlying elephant in the room that we need to address to help them because they... If you want to connect it that way, then your culture would probably have to come from inside out. Not from outside in, because you're trying to get your class first. It, your, your, your main objective is your students. First. I, guess, I guess what you're saying is, if the school says we're going to, um, you know, we're going to kind of free up your ability to create interesting things in your classroom, mm -hmm. and then we, and then we had license to do so, which, which I think we do. Nobody said we don't. You know what I mean? But if you go to network days and other things, sometimes you hear you hear that the complaint, right? There's there's lots of complaining about. The ha being ho being hogtied, and I don't think we are. I think we think we are. We're being we are not. I think we, we think not. we are. If you took out, yeah. like, if you took out all, I mean, I know social studies in the youth sector has like 25 like essential things you need to know, right? But you, but a lot of them overlap. So take 25 and make them into 10, and then take 10 and make them into six, and really you've got six things to work with that have to be met throughout the term. Then I mean, wow, like. I think I feel like that's a that's a that's like a tsunami. You know, you can then then you can really start. Then you can really yeah. Like you're not skipping anything. You're touching on everything, but you're just doing it in a way that speaks to your strengths and your students' strengths. I'm gonna do it in the freaking order of this, and I'm just gonna you know emphasis on the what it is. Let's practice the reading. Let's you know let's practice the writing. This is your issue. The 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 oral. I'm not gonna do it. And and that's a big you know. My question is actually, can we do this? Yeah, we not, can. Not, not we should, yeah, not we should, okay. but can we? But I, 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 well, your we, question yeah. also says that you have, in that all that we have the freedom to do that more than we do. I think that in that all that we have the freedom, compared to the youth sector, you can't do that. No. As much as you want to, you can't. You can do it. Well, well, so what we are doing, well, let's say that what we are doing is, so I gave him something simpler, but, and the other one is a more difficult, the other one is a more difficult, but, the topic is the same thing. So eventually they can answer the same questions, but it's differentiation. It's just a differentiation. Yeah, that's the word we keep. Yeah, you know, of course it is. Differentiation yeah. is you know, key. Or, it or is I'm, key. I'm teaching grammar. The whole motivation thing, though, there's always great debate on that. They, some people say, uh, you know, the teacher has to be the great motivator, and others, and others say that's bull. Motivation is completely like a lot of psychologists from within. Mm -hmm. Obviously, if we have make, make our classes very dull and uninteresting, and they can't relate to everything, they won't be motivated. But there's some who you can, you're motivating nine out of ten people, oh, and that tenth person. Is never motivated. It could be more the individual than the teacher at some point. Yeah. I think that we're supposed to be the leaders in the conversation, but we are supposed to be driving the motivation, but it has to come from them. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be, but we also have to understand that about ourselves. There's always going to be that one kid that we're not going to reach. Mm -hmm. We have to be okay with that, but also not complain about it. Try to learn why didn't I reach that kid? What is it about my teaching or my style? Can I change it? And if I can't change my style, then you have to also be okay with that too. But I think you have to bring it back to autonomy. Yeah. And the idea is autonomous learning, and they're going to be motivated to learn when they're interested in yeah. it being presented in a way that relates to them. Right. Making the material relatable to the student is more important than making it relatable to you. Mm, yes. For sure. Because some students you said, yes, you'll click with and they'll automatically love you and others will absolutely hate your face. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you're able to relate them and get them in there learning anyway autonomously, mm -hmm. and I think that's the key. Well, I think we have to be able to explain to them why it's important to learn what they're learning. Like, I mean, like I said, if you teach French second language, it's, it's a requirement, it's not necessarily a joy, you know, so we have to make it, to be able to explain to them why it's going to help them. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So it's about the intrinsic motivations, right? Yeah, it has to come from them. Yeah.